hello good people hope you're doing well welcome to just world youtube channel where we live learn adventure and charity we talk about finance personal development travel and community service if you're interested in this kind of content kindly subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you're notified every time we upload a new video we upload on Tuesdays and Wednesdays at 4.30 p.m. and sometimes on Friday at 1 p.m. East Africa time. In today's video, we are going to share tips on how to deal with emergencies and unexpected occurrences. This video was occasioned by the upcoming Kenyan elections and I wanted to just share what you might need to do to be ready for whatever may happen and this is due to a previous experience in kenya where there was unrest after elections and our prayer during this period is peace shall prevail and kenyans have learned from their previous mistakes and we are now ready to accept the outcome of the results and we are going to vote no matter what remember it's your civil right and you're always advised to vote wisely first tip is ensure you have enough food and water supply to last you a few days remember the farmers are also voting where it comes to food and therefore they may not be able to travel on the day of the elections so it is important that you stock up with especially easy food and if possible you can do a batch cooking and have your stock for a few days when it comes to water you can opt to have a water filter that means you'll have sufficient water supply the next tip is ensure you have some cash some money on mpesa such that if you need any supplies you will not have challenges maybe if you're not able to go to the bank and maybe the bank is not even close to you or you don't have online banking you would still be able to sustain your expenses the next thing is you must ensure that if you have a car it has fuel maybe if not full tank at least half a tank this will ensure that you can be able to live and at least get gas somewhere on your way while still at gas ensure your cooking gas is refilled i don't know maybe you can consider having a backup gas because you see you can't tell how far off your gas is and if, even if you can't you can't empty so maybe you can have a backup the other thing you may need is airtime maybe safaricom or your um, mobile service provider may have delays or such incidences and you may need to make a call so ensure you have some airtime. and still while at it remember if you use electricity if you don't have your bill yet you can just check you can just check your water bills and everything so that you're certain that you will not be disconnected remember like for instance if you have a, a power cut the same kenya power guys who are supposed to come and connect you will also need to go and vote and you may be inconvenienced maybe they would still come but they will not come on time the other thing which is also important to ensure if you take some certain medication kindly ensure you have enough stock in case you may not be able to go out and if you don't already have a first aid kit in your house you may consider getting one this is not for purposes this video by the way is not for purposes of elections but for purposes of us addressing emergencies to add on the election preparedness kindly ensure you're always updated as to what is happening and as much as possible avoid political arguments and respect each other's opinion and political affiliations the most important thing on that is that do not spread negative 
information the next tip and the most important is ensure your family is safe at all times whether from any possible uh, unrest or from any other th things that can harm your family that way you're going to avoid emergencies however sometimes they happen so it is important that you ensure the people in the family have contact details of any emergency contact and also like if you have children ensure they know your telephone numbers and they can be able to reach their parents without even reading a book it could be time that you train your kids to master your telephone number at this point let us highlight a few items that you must have in your emergency kit first is food and water for at least three days then you need a flashlight that can be used without uh, electricity you may need extra batteries you need a first aid kit you need a charged phone or a solar charger and the key important thing is personal items like the basic needs of even your pets don't forget your pets when you're shopping before i forget whether elections or not it is important to ensure that you have somewhere you list down the emergency numbers such that even if you're not home the people at home if they require something they can quickly call even without necessarily calling you like if there is fire by the time they call you it's spreading so it is important to ensure that someone in the house they should actually be somewhere very open and also when it comes to fire you can get the basic items for putting off fire because some small fires maybe you can be able to put off before it spreads while still on fire it could be important to have your important documents in a fireproof safe you do not know what may happen or what may cause a fire but we all know that it can happen so it is important to ensure that your documents are very safe this could also be, be because that your neighborhood floods so you can imagine if your you have your house is flooded and your documents uh, get spoiled these documents are like maybe your passport your birth certificate your basic important documents your titles your lease your will your rental agreements and all that maybe at this point i should ask have you put measures to be able to quickly address emergencies and what measures have you put whether you're at home or at work and if it is your house if if you're not home the people in the house what can they do have you even guided them as to what they can do in case of an emergency comment down below the other tip is consider your unique needs you may have someone who requires special attention, maybe special meals, maybe special medication. Just ensure that you have always talked up and maybe have a way of ensuring that you remember to restock. For instance, in this period, it is important to just check that you have enough stock for a few days. The other tip is it is important to think of a plan B in case you have to relocate from your house. For instance, if your house catches fire today, where would you go? Have you ever thought about that? Comment down below. It's maybe you can hang around your family or you can maybe think of from your savings, you can be able to live in a rest in a hotel. Because sometimes maybe your family is far. Maybe your friends are not in a position to accommodate you. So it is important to have all those in mind. And remember that we always say that you save 
for a rainy day so this would be the rainy day that you need accommodation because you don't have and well at it remember when you're looking for accommodation if maybe you're going to a hotel you need to check out if they are pet friendly if you have a pet other thing is insurance you can insure your house you can insure your other properties for instance a car for possible terrorism or even civil unrest so you can check them out and during this period it would be important to just ensure that everything around you is secured in case of any emergencies and even without any political involvement remember safety starts with you so you try practice safety but at the same time you put measures I know sometimes it's painful to pay insurance maybe after a whole year then you don't have any claim you feel like you're just paying all the time and you don't have any claims and like in our Kenyan system there is no compensation for not having um annual or regular claims i hear in some other countries you can be able to get maybe a reduction on your next premium maybe in the future we will get there also as kenyans remember above all your safety is number one and you cannot help someone else to safety before you help yourself Thank you so much for watching this video. If you're new, kindly subscribe. If you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much for watching this video. For my premier gang, may God bless you for me. You are the real deal. Let's continue supporting each other on this journey and let's grow to the next level. See you on our next one. Bye.